The adjustable bias binder foot allows you to do a decorative finish on the edge of your fabric using contrasting fabric. The beauty of this foot is that it is adjustable and can accommodate all different sizes of pre-finished bias binding. If you want to make your own, you certainly can do that as well. I'm going to start by talking a little bit about the anatomy of the foot. Any time that you see adjustment screws, this means that you get a chance to change the foot's direction to some degree so that your fabric is going to line up exactly where you want it to go. This wheel here will move this little flange in and out so that it perfectly conforms to the bias binding that you have purchased. Let's take this to the machine. This foot actually has its own shank, and so what we're going to start off with first is removing both the foot and then using the advanced driver, let's remove the screw just enough that we can slide the shank off. If your baby lock machine has a high shank like my machine does here, you'll have to remove this entire shank and then use the included S adapter that came with your machine. This S adapter actually conforms to your bar itself. It simply slides on in place and you'll reintroduce the screw that you had holding your initial shank. And once in place now, you can place the foot on your machine. And this time you can use the advanced driver to get that snugly positioned. And now let's take a look at this foot. If you look on the toe of this foot, you'll notice that there are incremental markings in millimeters that are running down the side. This particular screw here allows you to move that in and out so that you can accommodate whatever size of fabric strip that you have. I'm also going to be able to make an adjustment once I have this fabric in place, and you'll see that in a moment. I've cut a 45 degree angle in my fabric, and now I'm going to begin introducing this strip of bias into the foot. And it is a little bit easier if you grab a stiletto or something to help ease that fabric through. Now when you're looking at the side of the foot, you'll notice that this piece of plastic cups around both the bottom and the top piece of the fabric. And as I pull it through, what I'm going to be doing is positioning it so that the fabric is snugly against this inside edge. And then what I want to do is rotate this piece here so that it fits snugly so that my fabric does not move back and forth. All right, so let's get that on the machine now. Now that I've got my binding in place, I'm going to slide the fabric that I'm going to be encasing in between that area here, sandwiched between the fabric, and then I'm going to lower my presser foot. Now the machine itself with this foot is going to guide my fabric. What I'm going to be looking for is where it's stitching. But in order to be able to make adjustments, I first need to see where it's going. So let's just start stitching. Okay, and I can already tell that I'm barely on this. And so what I'm going to do is make an adjustment. I'm going to raise my needle. I'm going to loosen this screw and I'm going to coax that over towards the foot itself just a small amount so that I can get my stitching closer to the edge. Now this bias binder attachment will accommodate binding between a quarter of an inch wide and three quarters of an inch. So you can use a lot of pre-purchased binding or you can make your own. So if you're stitching and you notice that your stitching is too close to the edge, or if it's just right, you can continue to make adjustments. And I always recommend that what you do is do a test before you actually start stitching on your real project. If you've made as many adjustments as you can, but you still can't get your needle over, turn to your machine's stitch width and move your needle position over until you have it exactly where you want it to go.
This adjustable bias binder attachment is the perfect addition to your sewing room and it does a beautiful job of finishing the raw edges of your fabric. It comes in really handy if you're doing a Hong Kong finish on the inside of garments or putting on a nice edge on placemats or other home decor items. You can find the adjustable bias binder presser foot at your local Baby Lock retailer.